is uh, another video for Pro Audio Stash. I'm going to show you how to make uh, a 150 pin multi pin 48 channel. First off, you need to get yourself a sharp pair of secateurs, which I, is my preferred choice. They seem to cut through better than cable cutters. I'll show you how easy this is. These have a clutch on, so they will cut straight through, like so. Right, obviously this is just a test piece, like Blue Peter. Here's one I started earlier, uh, but I'm, I'm halfway through this one, so I didn't want to, obviously it'll take too long to show you from the beginning to there. So what you want to do, like I've done on this one, is slide your barrel over, making sure that your gland is undone. This is a tour line connector by 1047, this one. That just slides over, like so. And then you want to get your standing knife, cut your jacket off, like so. So you expose all the channels. And get rid of that. Now this should have the old towel core inside. Make it a bit easier to take the jacket off. But that's what you'll start with. You then want to get all your channels nice and loose and as you can see they're all odd sizes so you want to take your secateurs again and you probably want to cut them all down so they're all nice and straight like so and get rid of those right we'll take that away because we're finished with that Right, you need to make yourself some little parts. I use heat shrink, but you can use um, uh, earth sleeve in for this. But I personally use heat shrink, I prefer it. I shrink it down first. I use one eighth of an inch. I shrink it down first, and it's basically for your drain wires or your, your unprotected earth. So, what I do is I take a channel like so. This is for when we can strip the channel back, the outer jacket of each channel, just to protect that later. So you slide that over, you take your drain wire and you measure it, add it on about five mil, like so. You strip your channel where the bottom of your earthing sleeve was. You take this off, you have three wires inside. You want to slide the earthing sleeve over the earth or your drain wire as we call it so in the industry and you have your pins and you have oh, drop one I oh, can't pick it up and your crimping tool now your crimping tool has to be set to the right gauges for 150 pin That just pops onto there like so. And you crimp your pin on, and that's your first pin. You then want to strip both your other channels. Strip the ends about 4mm or 5mm on each pin. You have a tiny little hole. You see a little spy hole. If you pop your wire in, you should see the, the copper poking through the hole or inside the hole. As long as you can see that, you know you've stripped it far enough. Obviously you put in your crimper, close your crimper up, put your wire back in your pin, and crimp your pin on. And you repeat this, in my case, 48 times each channel three times four times 48 right I'm gonna carry on putting some pins on and uh, I'll see you guys a bit later when we go to populate the connector later on <laughs> 